Interest rates. What are they? Why do they matter? Why should we as homeowners, home buyers, or home sellers really care about them? <laughs> Let's dive right into it, what they are currently. Now here in Arizona for a 30-year fixed mortgage rate as of October 16th, the average is gonna be right about 7.96%. Now that's the average and your mileage may vary depending on specific situations and circumstances. Now, I know that's gonna be quite a bit higher than what we've seen in recent years, but that actually aligns pretty well with historical norms and averages. The historical average over the last 30 years from about 1971 till about 2023 was actually about 7.74%. So about 0.2% or so higher than the average. Now we also have seen a high in the last 30 years of 18.63% average. That was back in October of 1981. And we also saw the historic lows just recently in October 21, and those were average of 2.65%. So as you can see here, they are more in line now with historical averages. It just seems like they've gone up a crazy amount, which they have, because just a few years ago, back in 2021, we were at historic low interest rates. Now let's talk a little bit about why interest rates move either up or down. Generally speaking, when interest rates go down, it's when there's a downturn in the economy or the federal government is trying to stimulate the economy by putting more money into it, making it easier for us as consumers to borrow and take out loans and put that money back into the economy, helping generally the federal government causes them to go up in order to combat inflation to make sure inflation doesn't run rampant or get too high. As we see right now, um, a couple of years ago in 2021, when there are historic lows, this was COVID time. So the government was trying to stimulate the economy, getting us to spend money to keep everything going. And then now we've seen inflation rates rising. So that's caused the interest rates to rise as well. What does that mean for you as a homeowner, a buyer or a seller? Well, as a buyer, that just means interest rates are higher now and that you need to be prepared for that. So either talk with a lending professional or you can definitely reach out to us over here and we'll get you in contact with a fantastic lending professional that can give you all the specific information for your needs and your situation to give you the most accurate numbers. That way you can be prepared moving forward about exactly what that home is gonna cost you on a monthly payment basis. So just be prepared for that and know that if you are tight on that monthly payment budget would have been a few years ago, you might have to go into a little bit less expensive home now in order to keep that same payment. Now, as a seller, that means basically the opposite that buyers coming in, there might be a few less at that price range due to the increase in interest rates and the subsequent increase in cost of the mortgage. So just be prepared for that. Luckily here in Arizona, we have a very low inventory, but that combined with the higher interest rates means that we're in a relatively balanced market. Although if you are one of the lucky buyers that has cash or one of those home sellers that has a cash buyer, don't have to worry about those interest rates because if you come in with cash, don't need to take a loan, so the interest rates don't really matter. I do wanna also talk about one big asterisk here, guys, because I'm sure a lot of you have heard that if you buy a home now, you can always refinance when the interest rates drop. Now, the first caveat to that is, we don't know if interest rates are gonna plateau here, if they're gonna keep rising, or if they are eventually gonna drop. Hopefully they do drop, but we just don't know. Unfortunately, our crystal balls don't quite tell us that information yet, but we're working on trying to sort that out for you. So. Just be aware of that, that they may stay here, they may rise, or they may lower. It's all kind of a guessing game depending on how the economy is going and what the federal government wants to do. But with that, the second asterisk, and this is the bigger one, as I'm sure you've heard that you can always refinance, but with that, that means that you have to have enough equity in the home to make sure you qualify for the new loan and make sure you have that loan to value ratio for that new loan. Now, essentially what a refinance is, is taking out a new loan at that new interest rate and using that to pay off the old loan. That way your payments going forward are off the new loan and the new interest rates. But here's the big problem with that sometimes, which generally let's say isn't too much of a problem but it can be because sometimes the real estate market takes a downturn as we saw back in 2008 when the economy took a hit and the real estate market in that housing crisis 
took a, quite a bit of a dip for a few years in terms of housing prices. So let's say that you bought a home for 500,000 and then we see a dip in the housing market and now that home is only worth 400,000. But interest rates have also gone down. Now, if you didn't pay off that $100,000 difference, you might not be able to refinance. Or if you do, you'll have to possibly come up with that cash difference between what the financial institution will lend you right now for the value of your home versus what you currently owe on it. So let's say you've only paid down 25,000 in the last year or so when we took that dip from 500 to 4,000, you still owe 475 in that loan. Now, most financial institutions won't give out a new loan for 475 on a property only valued at 400. So you might not be able to refinance in that situation. Just wanna make sure you guys are informed about that as we're not trying to hide anything. We're trying to make you the most informed buyers, sellers and homeowners out there possible. That way you can make the best decisions for you. And that's also why we're here is to help inform you and help guide you into making the best decision for you personally. So historically, housing has generally gone up. If you look at any given time period from about 10 to 30 or 50 years, house prices will always be going up. But as I said, there are always those dips in the market for a few years where they might plateau or they might drop down a bit. We've even seen one relatively recently from that super high in COVID when they had the low interest rates getting higher and higher house pricing just due to lower cost of the mortgage monthly payment. And then we've seen in a lot of areas how it has either plateaued or dropped a little bit since then. So if you are one of those people that bought right there and you were trying to refinance, which I'd recommend not doing if you have a sub 3% loan, um, you might not be able to just because you don't have the equity or the loan to value in your home. But that kind of covers it right now for interest rates going forward. But let me know if you have any questions down below. We're here to help you with any and all of your Arizona real estate needs and can get you in touch with any specific person and get you any of that information personalized to you that you might need. Well, thanks guys and you have a great day.